Hello everybody, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. This one I'm gonna show you how to do a jitter shake or a shake effect, a very simple one. Let's just see what it looks like. Hot space bar, shakes it and bang, in and out. Very simple. I'm gonna show you how to do this from scratch. Let's go ahead and delete everything here, including these little pieces and let's start from the beginning. All right, good stuff. Now we've got some footage as you can see here. Drag and drop it into your timeline, presto. The next step is we gotta pick a place where we want the shake to begin. So I'm gonna say right here. Okay, good. The next step is we wanna to go to new item. If you don't see this, if you're in the project panel here and you don't see that little um, page with the, with the dog-eared, with the flipped ear, all you gotta do is just increase the size of this so that you see it. Click new item, then click on adjustment layer, and then click okay. Now we've got a new adjustment layer. Drag and drop that adjustment layer on top into V2 or track video track two. And we're on our way. Now for this, we generally only want the shake to be like not even like maybe 10 frames long at most. So I'm gonna make a very short shake here. And we'll just zoom in a little bit. And we'll make it let something like this, okay? So it's a very short shake. All right, good, because it's just a simple little jitter effect it's not a big huge effect okay good now the next step is i'm going to make sure i'm clicked on the adjustment layer and now i'm going to go to effects and you're going to see under video effects distort transform drag and drop transform onto the adjustment layer like i just did there good now click make sure you're clicked on the adjustment layer go up to the top click on effect controls at a little bit of the way down at the bottom you're going to see transform has been applied this is where the magic begins make sure that your playhead is at the beginning of the adjustment layer when it's there we're going to go ahead and basically just click on the toggle animation for position what we're going to do is we're just going to do a position jitter but before we do that we're going to change the shutter angle to 360 as well so make sure you do that shutter angle 360 position keyframed all right Good. Now, on the first frame, we don't want anything to happen. So now we're about to start the um, uh, the jitter or the shake. So I'm going to click on this button here that step forward one frame. And then we're going to adjust the position and we're going to adjust it. And this is a manual thing that I'm doing here. Please note that I'm just sort of eyeballing it. This isn't anything. I'm going to move this to the left and then maybe I'll move this back up. Something like that. Basically, whatever you kind of, if you want a heavy shake, go ahead and do it. If you want a lighter motion, just go ahead and move these randomly as you see fit. So I'm going to move this to the right. I'm going to move this back up. And then I'm going to move forward one frame, always clicking forward one frame. And then I'm going to move it back into the center-ish kind of area, etc., etc. Go forward a little more, drop it. Go forward one more, drop it, drop it. Something like that. Okay, good enough. And go forward one more. This is the last one, so I'm going to move it to there. And then going to move it back up. And then on the last one here, to step forward, this one, I'm going to click this button right here, which is reset parameter. That means it sets it back to normal, which was where it should be when it started. So what have we got now? We've got this guy. We've got a shake here. You see how we did that? Good. It's not quite perfect, though, because when I, when I scroll through it, when you see here, when I'm at this frame, for example, see on the right side, you see that black bar? we want to go ahead and get rid of all of those black bars there's one right there and a little underneath it and the way to do that is to just scale this thing up so i'm just going to go here and i'm going to scale it to about 110 and let's see if that does the trick 111. do we see any and i just scanning through it to look and see if there's any black bars there are no black bars so we've got a we've got the effect done let's go ahead and see what it looks like there it is that's how you shake inside Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching.